Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and today is the last grocery haul of July and the first last grocery haul before Vlogus starts next week. So I'll probably continue to do the grocery hauls like I usually do with uh, Vlogus, and that'll just be one of my vlog days. Um, but this is the last one for July, and it is the first time in a very long time, if ever, I've come in under $100 for groceries. Da, 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 da. Um, so we have a lot of dinner saved back. We still, I'm still working through those. But if every grocery shopping event could be like this, it would be amazing. Um, but I spent $61 at Target, and that's after Cartwheel and Red Debit and all that. And then I spent $30 at the grocery store, so $91. And then on household stuff, I spent like $11. But just food-wise, under $100, practically unheard of for us. So um, I will show you what's in our under $100 grocery haul. And also, I stopped past the Dollar Tree, which you guys know I don't go there super often, but I saw on right. to you by mom. I can't talk today. Um, Crystal, she just did like a Disney Dollar Tree haul, so I stopped past there because I wanted to find the Kleenex and stuff. So I did pick up some of that, and I think the girls are going to think it's super cute. Um, so I will show you what all I picked up today in my receipts because I'm super excited about them and I'll show you my meal plan to start out. Meal plan for the week, we're going to do sloppy joes and corn because that was a hit with everyone and then when I have those meat containers I have three meals out of them that I have um, supplies for. So sloppy joes, spaghetti and tacos, we'll do that one more week and then it was requested that I do the pork sandwiches again so we'll have those with like a baked bean side Thursday we'll do a quick grab and go chicken nuggets mac and cheese before Zumba on Friday I really need to make that cilantro chicken I keep moving it down um, but it really needs to get made this week so I make that in the crock pot it's in the freezer just sitting there ready to go and then Saturday I have ravioli so that is what our meal plan for the week looks like the last week of July so here are all the groceries for the week and then I will show you the household items separately and here are the receipts. I'm super proud of these. I may have to frame them. $30 at the grocery store and then at Target, $61. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's ever happened. I don't honestly think that under $100 has ever happened. And then um, only $11 for um, the household stuff because we didn't need that much stuff. And so, we'll start over here. It was really just kind of essentials. And then, I one thing I realized, because we were kind of burnt out on the berries, if you guys noticed the past couple weeks, we've been trying to kind of change it up with the pineapple and just back to bananas and that sort of thing. And I was probably spending like 10 to $20 maybe on berries. I don't know. They're expensive. So, that may have helped too. I got these for just taking on like little picnic lunches. They're Nutter Butters. And this is like a snack pack thing that's resealable. I got these Seagram's things again this week. These are actually really good. And let me clarify. These were at the grocery store. So this is the grocery store stuff over here. And I got the Jamaica Me Happy because that was highly recommended last week. And I got this Peach Fuzzy Navel. And they just had like a little bin of these like it, it was the whole display thing up the front so like these were just kind of like a grab-and-go type of item meant to be up there um, and so I, I wasn't sure how good they were gonna be but they were really good so I got a couple of those to try and then two water things for my husband mrs. Fisher's potato chips oh and if you're not in the United States someone from Canada posted they're like oh target sells alcohol in the United States yes stores here can sell beer alcohol I know that it's like separate in Canada there's like beer stores and then you have to go to a separate store for like liquor we used to just live across the border from Canada so I'd have I'd hear people talking about it but um like over here stores can carry both and our target does not all of them has it these are at the grocery store so it's all mixed in in America and then um, crystal light energy drink peach mango I picked up some of this Louisiana iced tea. This is my preferred tea, and so I went ahead and picked up one of these. Sadly, they don't carry the 48 tea bag size any longer. They just had that. That was the only thing they had, so I hope they're not phasing it out. And then garlic. I picked up uh, pork roast for the pork sandwiches. Picked up another pineapple. The kids have been loving the pineapples, so I went ahead and got this little guy. The I got this at the grocery store because it was... Probably, they were probably just as good as another. You know, the Target one and the grocery store one were probably just as good as each other. So this was $30 worth of stuff at the grocery store. And then from here over was the stuff from Target. And really a minimal amount of stuff this week. So we had milk left over. I only had to get one milk. Um, there's 100% apple juice. I get these for my husband to put in his water bottles. 
This is the Energy Tropical and the Mio Energy and Black Cherry. Got the girls one of these Berry Berry Good Lemonades, the little single packs to use for picnic lunches and things like that. Crunchy granola bars, peanut butter, and oats and honey for my husband. There are some things of corn. We're going to have these with the Sloppy Joe's Manwich things. Some limes. There's two things of yogurt. My husband takes those to work. And then things of bananas. The girls have been back into bananas again. Um, some ground round. And we do actually get three meals out of two pounds, if you can believe it or not. And then um, Smuckers Uncrustables. I, the big box that I got, we're still working through those. But those were strawberry, so I got just a little box to kind of vary it up. If they're kind of, you know, not wanting strawberry anymore. As so they can use this kind instead. We got three Market Pantry um, oatmeals. There's two regular ones for my husband to take to work. And then the lower sugar one over there for the girls here at home. Here's the Manwich stuff. This is the Sloppy Joe stuff. I've never used anything but this, so I would highly recommend this. I didn't realize it was a regional thing until the comments last week when I showed this. Um, but I guess this is a common in the Midwest because this is what I've always used and have been used to. I also got the girls these Goldfish Grahams and the Vanilla Cupcake again. They love those. And also Ritz Crackers. They really, really like those as well. I picked up just a six pack of eggs because they were actually on sale and on cartwheel. And it was cheaper to actually buy two separate packs than to get the 12 pack. And I didn't need, I just, I'm going to be short a couple eggs, like two eggs this week. So I went ahead and just picked up one pack. And then there's my husband donuts. And then here's the liquid egg whites for my eggs as well. The fruit twist and blueberry pomegranate for the girls. Some Granny Smith apples. Everyone's been liking those lately. And that is everything for food for the week. Unbelievably, honestly, like I said, I need to frame the receipts under $100 worth of food. So then I went over to um, the toy section and we had to get a couple things and just like household stuff on our household list. We had to get some more acetaminophen just to have on hand, some more toothpaste. We use this Colgate Total Whitening. Um, I needed to get some baby wipes. I usually use the travel size down in my gym bag, but I made it all the way over to the other side of the store. That was the other thing today. This may be why I didn't get that much stuff. Target was so busy today. I mean, like the busiest I've ever seen it. And the travel wipes were over on the side of the store that was the busiest over by the food. So I didn't want to go all the way back over there. So I just got these out of the baby section to put down in our gym bag. Um, and then I heard, now I asked our cashier and she's like, oh no, you know, not necessarily. But I heard a rumor that all, a majority of the toys are getting marked down this week on August the 1st at Target. And they do like this huge clearance thing. People in some of the clothing groups were saying like they literally take days off of work and go get Christmas gifts on August 1st. So I'm going to go on Thursday because I probably would have been there anyways. We'll see if this is true or not. But I have been looking at this for a few weeks and watching the price go down and down and down. Isabella got Cinderella for her birthday. It's a smaller set than this, but they have been really into Play-Doh. And so we only have one princess. So if both the girls are wanting to make a princess dress, you know, there's kind of like, oh, you have to wait till the other girl's done. So I've been watching the price on this go down and down and down. And it was originally $21. The sticker said 10, but I w when I went and scanned it, it was actually $6.98. So I went ahead and picked this up because it was the last one that I saw on the shelves. And I thought, you know, that's a pretty good purchase for us because each girl could be doing a princess dress on one of the princesses. And then it also um, holds the dress things on the side. They've been really into this kind of stuff. So for six bucks, I thought that's not too bad for a Play-Doh set. So I went ahead and got that, and that was everything in the household stuff that was $11. And then at Dollar Tree, I only spent $3 because <laughs> everything's a dollar there. And I think, honestly, I'm gonna go back to Dollar Tree for like back to school once I have Isabella's school list of what we need to buy and get some things there like hand soap and things like that. And I'm gonna try to get some tissue boxes with the characters on them um, because I figured the kids would like that. So thanks for the tip and the heads up, Crystal, because I think the kids are gonna love these. Um, but I need to wait till I get her school list to know how many things I need to buy and all that. But I do think I'm gonna go back. So what I got at the Dollar Tree are these antibacterial hand wipes. They've got Munster Zinc and Cars and Toy Story on them. I'm gonna toss these down in our grab and go toddler bag. I'm going to put this in the girls' bathroom. This is just a uh, facial tissue and has princesses on all the different sides. 
So I, I think that they're definitely going to dig that. And then I got these little travel tissues. I use these down in the girls' backpacks. They usually always have a tissue in their backpacks and our grab-and-go bag just to have tissues on hand. So I'll put these in all of their bags and have them use these. So good finds at the Dollar Tree. So that was our shopping for the day. I'm pretty enthused about it. So that was our under $100 grocery haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I'll probably be taking a few days break here before Vlogus starts up at the end of the week. But you guys will be seeing us a lot in the very soon <laughs> near future because Vlogus starts on August 1st and we will be uploading daily. So I'm planning on mainly doing day in the lives, but I will have some videos coming up, some videos that I wanted to do about Disney World. I actually have some bits and clips that I wanted to put together from our previous trip that I haven't gotten uploaded yet. So I may use those for a vlog one day. I also wanted to talk about traveling with toddlers to Disney World and then a separate vlog, maybe Disney World specific, like once you're in the park. Some tips and tricks about toddlers in Disney World. So I might do those videos during Vlogist as well. And then just some random things like custom hauls and, and things like that. So you'll see those things kind of intermersed throughout the month. But the majority of the month will probably be day in the lives. So see you very soon and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.